watch on a Thursday here in, uh, in the Middle East. Just having a look at this uh, price action over FOMC. Inflation targets at the at the Fed are kind of saying we're not too worried about any of this and we're not going to hike anytime soon. That obviously created a move from 30 to 78, 48 handles. But let's look at the 10-year yield. Um, funny, funny business here. I mean, this uh, did take a left-hand side digger down to 162. But here we are back at 167. Um, this is not good for the moves that happened yesterday, and I expect them all to reverse. Um, so I can see why stocks go higher when bonds go down to 162, but now that we're back basically uh, at the recent uh, highs, close, you know, we're one basis point away, stocks should recalibrate here. Uh, and FX should also mean revert. So euro dollar, we don't expect it to um, to trade 120 today. Um, in fact, a uh, good chance we we get back before, below 118.86 on a on a real screw you type move. BOJ made some little commentary on their changing. Um, the band of BOJ rates and basically they're they're worried seemingly unlike the Fed that uh, you know rates are going to go higher so they're widening the band 25 basis points either side knee jerk of course would be yen higher on that um, you know I stopped trading BOJ news flow uh, I don't know 17 years ago so I don't really know what to make of it uh, I do know that everyone in Tokyo knew this was coming out before any of us did, and this is just the way it works over there, so this is typical. If this is a typical news release for the BOJ. This is the logical move, dollar yen lower. This is everyone who already had the position on, taking profit, and we go right back to where we started from. Careful on dollar yen today. Uh, this looks like a break trade, by the way, people. 109.33. Um, if yields go through 170 today, which I have a feeling they will, um, you can smack the pony up there. Dollar Swiss is doing basically what dollar yen is doing. Not a whole heck of a lot going on in currencies, right? It's uh, these are these are minuscule moves. Um, dollars are down. That's a pretty good move, down 30 handles. So it was a good 2% move. Dollars are moves better than better than G7. Let's take a look at the dailies and see how close we are to the range lows. Not super close yet, but are we going to attack 1440? I don't think so. Uh, again, watch that 10 year. This thing is creeping back. Uh, and it's creeping back while, while um, New York's asleep. So they're going to wake up and go, huh? God forbid we make a new high on this. This could run, right? So people, people pushed some chips in yesterday on on um, the Fed, kind of promising not to raise rates. But here we are; rates are going higher uh, on their own. I have to see. I have to see. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, which is much more interesting to me these days. Just playing in this range here, um, pretty bullish price action within the top of the range. Looks like we're going to, this weekend, make a new high up through 61. I'm not advocating longs here at 58. Uh, I'm just saying if you are long and you're going to tactically trade this, it does look to me now that this is sort of on this little step formation or this, and has the momentum to make a new high. Um, and as is typical with Bitcoin, as you can see here, it makes a new high, fails, makes a new high, fails, makes a new high, fails. So you fade new highs in Bitcoin um, first time through. Um, so if you're long and if you're looking to tactically trade it, do not go short Bitcoin. I don't know how many people I've said this to uh, over the last three weeks who have got evis gotten eviscerated 
short Bitcoin. It's a fad. It's a fade. It's frothy. Yes, it's a fad. No, it's not a fade. Yes, it's frothy. But it's an asset that the world has decided has long-term value. Whether you like it or not, the world has decided this. Um, don't be short Bitcoin. You know, and if you're a millennial and you don't feel like buying a house, buy some fucking Bitcoin and just sit with it for 10 years as if it were a house. Um, you'll be just fine. What else is out there? Uh, let's go to Lumens. I'm talking about Lumens a bit. A little bit of a dick. A little bit of a dick punch there down to 32 cents. I didn't really understand that. Back at 40. Um, this is one of the sort of, I would say, less popular crypto pieces, but we like it. Um, I won't get into why we like it because I don't want to do that, but um, keep an eye on this one. And if you're, uh, if you're a tech monkey, um, go ahead, start scraping social media, start scraping traditional media. Uh, if you're just a boomer or something, try and figure out what Google Analytics is uh, and keep an eye on this in that sense. Because like all of these millions of crypto options, um, you need public sentiment to kick in. Uh, and it hasn't kicked in with this pair yet, but uh, keep an eye on it. Anyway, we're not doing any FX trading today. We will, um, we will sell, um, we will sell some equities if we get back through 50. So, if you look at this, you see what we're doing here. This is our sort of bull bear area here. This 55 down to 48. So we printed down 55. We're looking for another print here. And then in the cash session, back down through 50. Uh, looks attractive to us. Why? Uh, because of this chart. So we're still short bonds. Uh, I know it's crowded, but fuck it. This looks like, uh, I mean, I think 10 years is going to go up to two and a quarter. So there's going to be plenty of resistance here at 170, 175, but too many forces are at play here to uh, to slow this train down. All right, listen, uh, I've said enough. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead, make some dough. I dare you. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.